You got a, you got a uh, grapple That's with good. you? No, I don't. Well, I can actually see in there. Oh, you can? I can actually see in. Hey there, Zombie Salami's Naked Zombo here. And as you can tell by the look on my face, I have uh, been a, a bit sad since the death of Hoot Hoot. I know you saw me just do that wave emoji, but if I had the crying emoji, I'd be doing that right now. Ever since the death of Hoot Hoot, I've just been sitting in my room for who knows how long, just staring at this painting. I don't have a proper picture of Hoot Hoot, so I drew one myself. What do you guys think? Is, is it a good painting? I spent a lot of time on it. And by a lot of time, I mean five minutes. And I also added some new paintings to my room. We got this one, which is just a, a, a painting of a guy in tech kneeling. Nothing really to that one. Uh, there's this painting here of grease butt greasing someone. And this painting here is a painting of Dobby painting a painting. So I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. I just uh, guess I'm going to sit here and stare at this painting for a few more days. Hey, Rick. Rick. Hello. Is that a person? Rick, are you going to come out? You've been in there for two damn days i i made you hot chocolate oh did you here then i guess i'll open the door what's up benedict well how are you feeling i'm yeah. uh, i'm all right it's, it's the best hot chocolate i've ever had yeah i needed that i haven't eaten or drinking anything in a, in a couple days okay so what's up anything going on well uh th there's some news brewing around i don't know if it's true but it's just rumors but i hear that our friend and uh, the Red Reaper, you know the Red Reaper, you remember him. Well, apparently he, he was attacked and I want to investigate to see if he's uh, still around or alive. Okay, yeah, I, I guess we could do that. He's not uh, going to attack us, right? I'm pretty sure he was reformed. Uh, I believe he is still an ally, yes. But if he does attack us, we'll be ready for him. Okay, then yeah, let's do that. It's better yes. than sitting in my room for a few more days. But before that, let's do some gacha crystal unboxing. Okay, we got some uh, three ascended gacha crystals here. Let's see what we get out of this. Uh, first one, we got an Ascendant Fabricated Rifle. Is this better than the one I have now? Let's see. It has like twice the damage of the one I have now. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better. What do we got in the second one? We got an Ascendant Crossbow. I don't even have a crossbow, so I'll, I'll take that. And for the third one, an Ascendant Stone Pick. I don't know. Is that better than a metal pick? Uh, no, but it's still useful. I guess we'll keep it. Okay, so we're gonna go meet up with the tyrants. Before that, let me just wipe the tears off my face. I want to be presentable, you know? Do you not want to open this one? No, that's trash crystal. It's green, man. It's green. Trash crystal. Oh, I'm a trash I just crystal. got apprentice riot leggings from that. Lame. All right, then let me just put on some clothes and, uh,. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we are on our way to the Tyrant's base. Apparently, they were raided by uh, a tribe called the Saviors. So we're just going to go and see what's up with them. Hopefully, uh, the Red Reaper still isn't crazy. This is a pretty neat place. Dude, there's a bunch of corrupted dino. Are those all gigas? No, those are a bunch of rexes, dude. Did a drop land here? Like, what level are these? These are... No, these aren't even drop corrupted dinos. These are just... They just spawn in, dude. Is this like the home of corrupted dinos? Is this where they all chill? Of course, this is where the tyrants claim their base. Ah, here it is. Dude, this place is pretty well hidden. Holy crap. I would not have seen this if we didn't have the cords to it. I don't know how Benedict got the cords. There it is. All right, who's this? Hello, who are you? Oh, hey, sorry. I was just uh, preparing my mech. He's been kind of beat up a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I heard uh, some stuff went down with you and another tribe. Yeah, they came over for a visit. Let me, uh, show, me show you what they did. They kind of remodeled the place. Home sweet home. Hello there again, Rick. Uh, hello there. Who are you? I'm uh, X, your old friend. Oh, yeah, we met, uh, yeah, like on like the first day. Day one, yeah. I'm I, uh, mistaken you for the raptors, so, uh, yeah. Bit cross-eyed. My aim's pretty bad. Oh, okay. That's that's what that is. Okay, so uh, I see either your base isn't finished yet, or uh, you got some holes. We got some holes. It was actually still a base in development. We wanted to make it really a Death Star-y, but uh, they stopped us midway, and now we, and we had to retreat to our uh, failsafe, which is where all of our belongings are currently. So who were you attacked by? The Saviors. The all mighty alpha of the server how the tables have turned so the arc fight club they're your enemies right and they're allied with savior so i guess we have common enemies now brings to the point i think we should finally solidify our alliance you know ever since aberration we kind of went our separate ways might be time for tyrant and raptoria or just fiends now to uh, come back together fight the common enemy the saviors and the guys that killed my beautiful bird hoot hoot are allied yes they are okay then uh the saviors are going down then dude i guess it's uh you and us dust fiends and tyrants versus those monsters we gotta take them out man they killed my little snail named little friend <laughs> Excuse me. Killed little friend. They, they took hoot poop from you. We cannot let that slide. 
say no more, Red Reaper. I know exactly how you're feeling. If I had a, a hug emoji, I would I would do that right now. Maybe yeah, thank here, thank you. It's a thank emoji. We'll we'll touch heads. Thank okay. Let's thank together. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> okay. No, that's the wrong one. Okay, three, two, one. Oh wait. Okay, three, two, one, and no. Okay. <laughs> three, two, one, and God. God damn it! Okay, one more. Three, two, one, and we touched heads. We are officially allied. Yes. It's time we take down these monsters. Totally down for that. I mean, you have a pretty nice, well hidden base here, but like, uh, I, I'm not seeing very many offensive dinos. Oh, trust me, we have them. They're just all stored away in our uh, sa uh, fail safe. Yeah, uh, okay. Top secret. Stuff, actually. Good, yeah, keep that a secret. There are some That's stalkers around here, so you gotta watch out. They're, they got some informants, oh, yeah. I'm thinking. So we, we kind of got to keep things on the down low. Okay, so do you think your tribe and our tribe together could take on the saviors and whoever they're allied with? Uh, it really depends. Our tribe and your tribe are both decently strong, but they are really, really powerful. More powerful than the original tyrant on Aberration. Like, they have me shaking in my boots. If we can get enough people, I'm sure we could stand a chance. Okay, yeah, we'll have to uh, go out and uh, ally some people. I'm sure we could get some people to join in. All right, Reaper, so um, I'm liking your base. It's pretty well hidden. Show us around. I can so, see my foot. There, there was a door here. here. There was a teleporter here. Shot. We teleport our stuff into Watch here. Yeah. This, this is post-raid. It, it's so empty. I'm trying to imagine everything being here. Going down, and uh, looks like you got, what is this, this like a little basement area? Okay, so I thought there'd be more to show, but I forgot that they were just raided. So uh, just uh, imagine that the things were here, guys. It's a pretty, I think it's a pretty cool spot. It's like a little hole in a cave. It's pretty well hidden and it's got uh, multiple levels. Maybe once it's uh, all fixed up, we could do uh, a proper base tour. It's just so empty here. They got this huge space and then they have like three oh, yeah. vaults over here. Are you working on it. Me? Just accept it, B. Just I'm accept it. That's how grease butt reads people. Grease? It's Grease Butts Grease Greetings. Just accept it. Okay, guys, now that we are officially allied, I say, Dust Fiends, let's go and scout the, the Fight Club's base and see what they're working with. Good luck to you guys. All right, let's go. Yeah! That character cheer sounds so dumb. Uh, yeah! Tally ho, chaps, on we go. Okay, so Grease Butt, you know where their base is, right? Yeah, dude. Uh, do you guys want to hear some owl jokes while we're flying owls? <laughs> Let's hear it. So I was, I was telling Wagwan about some puns, right? And uh, we came up with some good ones, and he turned around and said to me, Wow, you're really winging these, aren't you? I can't force myself to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick, what, what kind of uh, beverage does uh, owls drink? I don't know. Tell me, Benedict. Pexy Max. <laughs> okay, I got one for you, Benedict. What did the snow owl say okay. to the gotcha? What did they say? I'll tell you later. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, oh so this is their God, base. The this is a dude, this is a full wooden base. All we need is some flamethrowers, dude, and we can burn this thing down. This is not their main base, surely not. Arc Tower Fight Club. Yep, this is them. Is there uh, any way we could get inside is the question. That's what we go underneath. You got, you got a uh, grapple That's with you? Good. No, I don't. Oh, I can actually see in there. Oh, you can? I can actually see in. Oh, yeah. yeah if you just, oh, my God. If you just fly up, you can see it. We oh, have they a have bunch a lot of turrets. turrets. Uh, Is there anything even valuable in here? They got a big metal box there. They're blocking something there. Oh, okay. So, oh, so the wooden uh, structures are a, a decoy. Yeah. They're so trying to make it look like it's not rate. valuable. How are we going to rate this, Rick? You see this little... If you fly down a little, they got a big fatal flaw here, which is... You see this little part over by this corner here. Wait. Oh, oh God. Oh, okay, shit. I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Is there no... <laughs> I accidentally pressed the right click button and is there no way to get out of this dude? Am I just stuck in this mode? And I just gotta wait until he falls into the ground. This is a long fall, dude. Okay. Oh yeah, I see. Okay, so we just uh, sneak inside there, put some C4, blow it up, sneak inside. Yeah, hold on, let me see if I can get in there. Hopefully uh, not get wrecked by the turrets they have in there. I Oh, I can see like straight into their base. I see a hole. Yeah, if you could like crouch inside of there. That's what I'm trying to get, but my bird's blocked. You think it would be efficient if we blew a hole at the very top and then put a gas bag, drop the gas bag in to tank the turrets? Uh, gas bags are very tanky, so yeah, it would be probably quite useful. Okay, so that's another thing we could do.
do. All right, guys, so this is that Museum of Natural History we saw last time. There wasn't anybody in there. It was completely empty. So uh, let's see what kind of updates they've uh, made. It looks like there's some people just chilling out here. I think she's doing a painting job. Hello? Anybody here? Hello. Oh, hey, dude. How are you doing? What's going on? Hey, what's your name? I'm Chobble. Nice to meet you. Chobble. Oh, wait. Are you and, the uh, uh, are you the uh, the museum owner? I am. Nice, dude. So I came in here last time and it was like completely empty. And I've been wondering what the heck this thing is all about. Well, I'm getting ready to set up this museum. I've been working on it for a little while. I'm gonna have a couple different sections. We're gonna have uh, dinos like the with the bones, and we're gonna have a corrupted section. We're gonna have insect section, and then we'll have like a the hall of the fallen section where uh, the people from the server donate their dermises to uh, to be immortalized oh i see have you gotten any uh dermises so far gotten a few yeah um uh, actually let me check my bird here I, he, he usually carries them around for me. any dermises of value any important dermises pretty nice reaper king over here that uh i was able to set up that was one of our uh most recent donations and uh the gentleman who gave it to me uh actually gave me his dermis too so um I can show you that if you'd like. Okay, yeah, let, let's see. Let's see it. I mean, is he like, is he a VIP or is he just a, a Randy? He's he's level 94, uh, so not bad. Yeah, this year, that's all uh, right. I don't know. He's looking pretty small. Is there something wrong with him? <laughs> uh, the way these taxidermy things are, it really does reduce their size. Oh, okay, so it's not uh, it's not life size scale. He's level 40. Uh, I'd like to get some uh, higher level up in here, but you know. We'll take what we can get for now. We got to fill all these uh, bases up. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty unimportant dermis, but you know, it's the museum's starting up. I do have uh, one thing I could give you guys to, uh, you know, start your, your museum. Super important, really hard to find. One of the rarest uh, pieces of apparel you can find. Here you go. Oh, you can man. have that. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh, you're that's welcome. Awesome. That's uh, it's about it's worth uh, about 100,000 metal. But you know what? I'll give it to you for free. Wow. Wow! Awesome! Thank you so much. As long as you, you know, keep it in uh, in in a good spot for right, everybody gonna, to see. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, absolutely. That's that's the best. It it will be uh, displayed with honor. Very good, very good. I could also give you another thing, but not for free. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll give it to you for a thousand metal. Oh, okay. It may be one of the important pieces you can have in this museum. Excellent. Uh, give me just a moment or two, and I can uh, run and grab the thousand metal for you. Okay. You don't even know what it is yet. That's fine. Oh, I'm excited. So, uh, with with this last thing being so good and the next one being even more important, I'm excited. I, I think it'll be uh, a great addition. All righty then. All right, go get me that metal then. I'm just gonna get, <laughs> I'm just gonna give him a, a, a piece of my hair. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, Rick Fastley's hair, man. Uh, I'll give him some of my facial hair. This is important stuff, man. This, You know how long this took me to grow? Like two days. So let me just cut a little bit off of there. And there we go. So four pieces of Rick Fastley's hair. You know what? Maybe I'll give him a little bit more. I'm giving him a good deal here, dude. A thousand metal for a few pieces of my hair. That's a great deal. You know what? I'm just going to give him all of it. There we go. What is that? That's uh, nine pieces of hair. Let's see if he takes it. He better give me a thousand metal. Metal, dude look at my face and why do i have a little bit of lipstick where did that come from i think i'm gonna blame grease but for that little spot i don't want to know where's this guy at man i think he dipped on me i think he forgot about me wait hello did you forget about me this is a very valuable piece of artwork limited time only museum owner are you out there okay we might as well go roam around then look they got a lot of taxidermy bases dude are they planning to get the dermises of the whole server dude that was my plan a small pterodon there Anki, Megatherium. I'm looking for uh, some valuable dermises though, you know? Like uh, a dermis from the Alpha Tribe. That would be a nice one. Maybe even the uh, museum owner's dermis. <laughs> I'll keep that one to myself. Excuse me, miss. You missed a spot. This is a five-star museum. We can't be missing spots like that. There we go. Look who decided to show up. I thought you were going to abandon the deal, dude. You were gone so long, my uh, my beard decided to disintegrate. I saw that. I was wondering. Uh, I have a slight narcolepsy, and uh, every now and then I just like to take a nap in a soft meadow somewhere, and occasionally when I'm flying across the city and fall down into a chasm and potentially get eaten by uh, raptors. So, you know, I could do it right now, actually. It might happen. You never know. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Maybe, maybe we could do that together sometime okay so you got that thousand metal absolutely all right so do you know what i'm about to give you right now i do not all right i'll take that metal from you all right all right see you sucker <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. that I best. wouldn't do that. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah, here's uh, the piece that I was talking about that you could um, put as a respectable uh, piece of artwork in your museum. Uh, here it is. Was that worth it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Absolutely. That's the most valuable resource of the map. No, I'm kidding, dude. Okay. Here's the, here's what I was really going to give you. This right here. Oh, okay. Do you know Do you know what that is right there that you're looking at? Is that the remnants? Of, what was that? The, oh, sorry. The remnants of your beard? That is the remnants of the Rick Fastly's beard. These are golden locks. Do you understand the power that you are holding in your inventory right now? I'm going to take over the server now. Like, people don't even know. You like, have the potential. Look Look at this. Look at this. Exactly. Oh. Nobody else has that they're but gonna, you. They're going to be afraid. I'm going to have to intertwine it with all my armor, and my armor shall be impenetrable. Well, I was thinking you could keep that as a piece of artwork in your museum, but you're going to have to keep that locked up very, very well, oh, secured. Yeah. I'm going to have to watch out. You need high-level security for that piece right there. Yeah. All right. On that note, I'll, I'm going to go, Chabal. All right. Enjoy that piece of artwork, and when I come back, it better be uh, locked up in a good place. It'll be framed. It'll be excellent. It'll be great. Very good. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate this. You're very welcome. I'll be on my way. If you guys want to join this server that I'm playing on right now, you could support the server on Patreon. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content and get your Naked Zombo Dark Assassin merch at NakedZombo.com. Follow me on Twitter for more news and announcements and also join our Discord. All the links for everything I just said are in the description. That is all I have for you guys in this one. I will see you in the next video. Woo!